What's going on crew? Welcome in. And for today, guys, I've got what may be the most epic map tour of the most epic map for Farming Simulator 22. That's right. Elk Mountain, Wyoming is coming at you right now. Let me, uh, let me show you this place because this is something special. Let's jump in the forward and let's go. So as we get started here, guys, make sure you guys do hit that subscription button if you're new around here so you don't miss out on any of our other map reviews or mod reviews. And of course, well, our whole play and crazy Let's Play series where we kind of push the envelope of Farming Simulator 22. Make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button if it's red down at the bottom. So welcome in, guys. This is Elk Mountain, Wyoming, like I said. And to be perfectly honest, this is not really a farming map. This is more of a farming experience is maybe the best way to describe it. This is something else. This is an absolutely incredible map. This is a 4X map done by Elk Mountain Modding. You may be familiar with some of his work. He has a whole pack out of uh, different buildings and structures and even a certain truck that's been placed out. Oh, man, we should have used that truck for this video. There we go. Fix that one up. That's about time. Can't do that with, uh, with the wrong truck, right? So, Elk Mountain, Wyoming, guys. This is based around the town of Clearwater, Wyoming. And what if I told you a 4X map with 10 fields may just be the most epic map I've played in a long time. And guys, these fields are by no mean huge either. So don't expect that that's gonna be your main focus. You no, know, like I said, this map is more of an experience, to be perfectly honest, than just a simple farming map. Let's drive down the road here. We're heading towards the main town and uh, we'll just drive into town just so you guys get a sense of what this is like. Because the, like I said, this, this map is more of an experience than it is just a farming, a simple farming map. As we kind of crest over the bridge, and we're gonna head into town here just in one second. You'll kind of get what I'm talking about. There is literally more detail than I've seen on any other map. And the amazing part about this is it's a 4X map. So there's lots of space. There is so much detail everywhere. It's, it's actually kind of ridiculous once again. There's a sign for Clearwater, Wyoming. And once again, the main drag for this small, quaint little Wyoming town. As we cruise the main drag, well, guess what? All your cell points, or for the most part, most of your cell points, guys, they're all right here. Look at this place. Look at the detail and love put into this place. Uh, it, it's kind of mind-blowing, to be perfectly honest. Everything that's in here, just an absolute ton of de detail from your dealerships to your cell points. You've got fuel stations. Look at the Farming Simulator 19 logo, the brick. Uh, it's, it's something else, guys. This town is absolutely amazing. And I love that you have to come here for selling everything. So let's talk about the map itself. Well, right in front of us here, you guys, you can see the map from the main town site. And the way he did the PDA on this is totally different from anybody else I've ever seen, to be honest. This looks like an actual, like a tourist map of sorts. You can see it's got the red circle that kind of encompasses the main town area. And you can see while well, we're at the fuel station, but there's all the cell points and production areas in town built right in. Of course, we've got a train station to the east, but let's zoom out. And you can see, well, there's the 10 fields that we talked about. We've got the 10 fields there. That's it, guys. As we zoom out a little bit further, it's all, well, off-road area. Now, the southern section, of course, all forestry areas, pretty much all throughout this area. You got some high plains up here on the same side over here. There is a gravel pit down here. You can see there's a debris crusher with this gravel pit if you want to go in and do a little bit of mining there. There's some... Well, Liberty Peak, you got some mountain ranges as well. Elk Mountain uh, is a Badger Ridge over here that you can kind of explore, which is actually quite fun. Some of the roads are, are challenging and fun to drive. Sawmill sections off to the far west with a train that kind of just gets in and jets back out again. You can rent the train. We'll show that one off a little later on. As we go further north, you're going to find another cell point as well as more logging. You've got a burnt ridge area. You've got some lakes. You got a clear cut area and then a mine that's right up in the north section that you can purchase, of course, and do some gold mining. We'll talk about that because it's not quite as simple as you might think. And then all along the north section, more forestry. The main farm itself, there's one main farm. It's right located just north of the Elk River, pretty much north of town. That's the main farm. When you start with new farm mode, you don't get any fields. You're going to have to work your way up to it. Now, fortunately, the field prices are fairly reasonable. As you can see, 125000 133 the most expensive one is field five at 239,000. so it's it's not overly expensive to buy the fields but really if you want to get some bigger lands this is what you're going to be looking for i mean for example the mine is two million dollars so that's really where you're going to be making some serious money most likely 
Uh, the rest of the stuff is fairly expensive, but the fields themselves, they're fairly reasonable. So now before we leave the town site, just wanted to also point out that some of the buildings out here are also enterable. Well, like the main building you're going to use, of course, main shop, dealership. Yeah, fully usable. You can walk inside, fully customized. Lots of detail in here. I mean, even look at this window. I love this. This is fantastic. This looks great. And yeah, fully, fully enterable. There's a couple different buildings like this. And of course, we got to give a, a shout out to OK Use Mods for allowing the inclusion of some of their stuff in there. You guys may recognize this building. It's now in FS22 as well. I uh, love this shop. Now, also something new before we head over to the main farm. This here is one of the subsidiary farms, one of the side farms that's just out in the country. And once you buy the land here, guys, this farm is fully operational as well. You may, of course, recognize some of these buildings were on Elm Creek. And, well, they weren't very usable because you couldn't get into them. Well, Elk Mountain has made it so these buildings are usable now. They're actually details put inside. Let's go around the back side of this. And these buildings are all usable now. They all have doors that open, storage that lies within. Um, I did not foresee this coming. This is something that was a little bit of a shock. And like this little building here, you're not gonna be able to get into anyway, but it's still fully detailed inside. What? I mean, what? Okay, enough of me fangirling out here. Let's head over to the main farm. Let's show that off. And you can see where, well, you're supposed to start at least. And here we are, the base farm, fully detailed. It's right along the riverside, north of town. Not really easy to get to, to be perfectly honest. There's not like a, a bridge that crosses anywhere close by here. You've got to make a trek around back to either the fuel station or through the mountains in order to get up to it. And here we go, main entryway. Oh, we got to get out to open the gates. You know, most of the previous buildings he's built are part of the Elk Mountain Ranch. It's like a, well, it's ba basically built for this map, guys, to be perfectly honest. It feels like they were pre-built with this map planned in mind. Uh, this is like a mountainous ranch, almost. That's pretty much the best way to think of it. This map seems like it's a perfect fit for every single one of the buildings he's made previously. And as we kind of pull in here, you're going to see exactly what I mean. Of course, all of his buildings are in here, the Elk Mountain Stable. We've got the shop building. You've got sheds on the far side. You've got the workshop buildings over here with water. Like seriously, every single one of these, the cattle pasture at the very back, every one of these is kind of built around all the equipment that he's already built up over time here. So that's what you're going to be expecting. And I love what he's done with this. All the base equipment you can see in here, it's already been pre-dirtified. That's a word, by the way. Like all the equipment, not just a little bit. Every single piece of equipment you get. There are some tractors, of course, inside the sheds, but everything is dirty and musty and needs to be cleaned up. And lastly, the top of the little hill here, you've got the main house. You've got the garage. You guys recognize this. This is once again, all Elk Mountain modding stuff. I love it. Looks great up here. It fits right into this countryside. So that's your main base farm. Let's go take a look at what else this map has to offer. So let's start off with fields. We've got 10 fields. Like I said, not a lot of fields. Give me an idea of the size of these. We're right along field three here. We'll take a look at across the river at 10. We'll be able to see four and five. So that there is one of the round fields, field 10 as we scoot around behind us, four and five are up here as well. So it gives you an idea what size these fields are. Like I said, they're a good size for sure, but they definitely aren't massive. Now, is this gonna be our focus? Uh, potentially, not a ton of fields though, like a big multiplayer map, maybe not might be, might not be the best bet for this as far as having several different farms. You may be struggling a little bit, but one maybe giant farm? Yeah, maybe that would work best. Now me just hovering over these fields does not do it justice, of course. These fields all have barbed wire fences. They have all sorts of shrubs and trees that kind of encapsulate them. Cattle guards to make you cross to get into each. And I mean, even little details like this irrigation system here. Unfortunately, I wish something like this would work. Can someone get one of these to work? This would be an awesome way to uh, fertilize your fields potentially. I mean, it's just irrigation, I know, but, but still, I mean, could we find a way to get something like that to work? That's cool. And before we tour around the rest of the map, taking a look at cell points, of course, you've got, what, six different main cell points, of course, for our productions as well. There's also a whole bunch of other cell points that are included on that. Most of these are all in around the town area. There's a couple that are outside, of course, from your grain mills and such in your sawmill. But for the most part, these are all built in town. And it's one of the features I like about this map where it makes you well, pretty much harvest everything and take everything from out on the, across the river. And you've got to travel all the way into town to deal with it. Also, you can purchase 
all your different goods, like your lime, fertilizer, and seed from the local tractor supply, which is right in town. That's always a nice feature. I love buying, being able to buy bulk stuff instead of having to go to your dealership and buying by pallets. Same can be said, you can do the same thing out in the countryside down at the feed store as well. So it's not just one point. On the outskirts of town, you will find your grain mill, the biomass heating station, and just a bit further east, you'll find the, the, the big sawmill complex. Look at this place. Huge sawmill complex. Just past our sawmill complex, you will find a large silo that is connected to a train station. The trains work exactly like Elm Creek where you can rent a train in order to ship your goods to the nearest town, which is Cheyenne. So we'd have to wait for a train here. Is any trains coming? Ah, there we go. I knew it would come here. Unfortunately, I wish it kind of went through the map. It just comes through this one corner and that's it. But it's still good to see there is an active train on the map. Love to see that. So we've left the train station heading north. That is the cereal mill and flour mill, I believe, right there. We're going to keep on going up into the hills, guys. We're going to head up to the northwest section of the map. We gotta go a little off-roading section up here, and we gotta go look at the mine. So we've left the sawmill. We're heading straight north past the mills up there. We're gonna be heading up into this neck of the woods, past the lake, up onto these trails, into the forest there, and we're gonna find Bighorn Mine. So as we climb the hills out of the valley up towards this mine, it gives me kind of a chance to show off a little bit of the detail like I'm talking about, guys. There is nothing cookie cutter about this map. Everything has been placed with, with love and attention. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, off on the right, you're going to see this is the burnt forested area. It's all burnt up trees. Kind of an interesting logging area to get rid of all of those burnt out trees. Kind of clear cut already, ready to go. And as we pass that, well, we are going to hit the mine clump complex. The start of it, at least. It's ready to go for you. You just need to get up here by the land and get into this mine. I'm going to leave this up as we kind of crest over the hill. And yeah, the mine, once again, is something else. All the way down on top. There's the more the, the wash station and the main mining section. Oh, stop clutch. There we go. Is down and below. Good thing that rock was there. Yeah, look at the pit. Something looks fantastic, right? Now, be aware. This is not like other mining maps, guys. This is not like there's pay dirt that's down there that you can just go and dig up. You're going to need to run another mod. You will need to run the Terra Farming mod in order to get this mine to work properly because all that is just simple dirt. Simple dirt you can find anywhere on the map. You will need to use your terraforming mod, set that to pick up dirt, and that will be your, and not rocks, I should say. So it goes from rocks to dirt. Make sure you have that set up and then dump that into your wash plant. So no pay dirt, unlike some other maps that are out there. Make sure you use terraforming, pick up dirt, you're good to go. And that goes for the same as our gravel pit, which is down in the Southeast section here. Same thing goes for this section. Yeah, terraforming is what you're gonna need to use, guys. But once again, the more we drive around this map, the more of things I just kind of find driving around on some of these dirt trails that kind of go through the countryside. Um, this road here is unmarked on the map, but it's the Continental Divide Trail, elevation 8,500 feet. A lot of these just end up going through the woods up onto some kind of amazing viewpoints. Definitely check some of this stuff out when you have a chance. So this is a map you're definitely going to want to just explore, drive around, off-road even, if that's your thing. I know I definitely enjoy it as we kind of cruise around through the mountains here, just seeing where we get and how you get to different places. It's uh, for a 4X map, it's not even 16X in that sense, but still it feels so much bigger than a 4X in my mind. And once again, like I said, I know only 10 fields, that's going to set some people off a little bit, but there are lots of highland areas up away down the Southern section of the map as we look around here, that could very easily be made into more fields. You just have to do the work yourself. This kind of reminds me, this section reminds me of No Man's Land in that sense, where you have this open blank slit of land down here almost, where you can start to just make some fields. There's a fairly large section down here with just open highlands that are just begging to be made into crops as we kind of crest our way through it. And I mean, it's a long road to get down through here. So there's lots of places where you could do this. Uh, the rest of the northern section is more forestry. The southern section, as we go all the way down, definitely could be easily made into, uh, into fields. Oh, look at that. It's all wide open down ahead here. Yeah, it goes on for quite a ways off in this direction. So large areas where you can definitely make some more fields. That's very cool. Uh, let me just take this chance here, guys, to thank all our members of the channel who allow me to make these videos for you guys. Without your support, there's no way this could happen. So uh, new and returning members, just a quick snapshot of a few of you. Appreciate you guys. You guys allow me to do this. So cheers to you guys indeed. So that there, guys, is your map tour from Elk Mountain, Wyoming. There's literally just too much for me to go over once again on this map without it being an hour and a half long. 
So make sure you come join us in one of our live streams where we show this off a little bit more in depth and I can answer any questions you might have. Release date for this map will be in a few weeks if you're watching this on release date. But hopefully we see this map very soon. Once again, a 4X for PC and Mac only. Unfortunately, this will not be in the Mod Hub. I apologize, console players. This one's just out of your reach. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Slap that like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything farming sim related on the channel here. And if you haven't seen Terra Farming before, what I would call the biggest mod for Farming Simulator 22, the biggest game-changing mod for Farming Simulator 22, go click on the video. If you don't know what Terra Farming is, it is the biggest game-changer for Farming Simulator 22 and required for this map. So get on that. If you haven't seen that already, click that video. Go watch that thing. Other than that, folks, have a fantastic day. I'll catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.